We've arrived at Fort Point National Historic Park in San Francisco, right at the foot of the Golden Gate Bridge. Let's go check it out. Well, there, of course, is the Golden Gate Bridge. And in the center of your screen out here is Alcatraz Island. These waves are coming in and breaking. Yeah, one wave just came up and it shot like 40 feet across this road here. Over 30 years ago, when we were making our way north on U.S. Highway 101, that's U.S. Highway 101 that crosses the Golden Gate Bridge, we stopped here in this very spot uh, over 30 years ago. So we're stoked about revisiting this iconic landmark. Let's go check it out. We're inside of Fort Point. It was constructed in 1861. It was held by the Union and never attacked by the Confederacy. The United States built this fort because of the importance of San Francisco Bay. Here's a look at the interior of the fort. And they do have some guns in here. We drove through the Presidio of San Francisco to get here. 30 years ago, it was an active U.S. Army base. I'm not sure that it is now. I think it's been deactivated. We're going to go uh, check the Presidio out bit later. Melody found the gunpowder room here at Fort Point. And I guess powder magazine is the correct terminology. Those are some huge cannonballs. Well there's a Spanish cannon. Looks like Spanish to me. 1684 on display here at Fort Point. And these are the type of cannons that were used at Fort Point, the Barbette Battery 8-inch gun. Melody and I are going up to the next level. Well, we're up on the top level at Fort Point be a firing hole right here. And that's the view you have from the firing port. Across the bay there is the Point Reyes National Recreation Area. Yeah, these, these old forts you know, on the East Coast, Melody and I have been many uh, to many of the coastal fortifications on the East Coast. And, but our understanding is this is the only type structure of this nature on the West Coast. It was never used in terms of having to defend San Francisco Harbor. It was ne never saw action. But nevertheless, it was important to the United States that they built this fort at the mouth of the San Francisco Bay. Here's a look at the interior of the fort from the upper level and the Golden Gate Bridge is directly above us. Well, I was mistaken. We were not on the top level. This is the top level. There's no roof on it. You can see San Francisco over there. We'll take a better look in that direction. But right off to my left, the mouth of the San Francisco Bay, I'm standing right underneath the Golden Gate Bridge. Let's go take a look up on that wall there. Wow.
like that that right there in the center of your screen may have been a lighthouse a light i don't know if it's active today or not but these are all gun emplacements many many gun emplacements in fact i'm standing on one of the gun emplacements it had guns all the way around this fort point just a massive amount of firepower Well, Melody's on top of Fort Point with me. What a wonderful view of the Golden Gate Bridge. And then that's Alcatraz Island right out there. And San Francisco is right over in there. Let's go over here and check the vantage point out from uh, the other side of the fort. There's somebody skiing down there. Oh, there's a couple people skiing. Some kind of boards. Surfing. Board surfing. Wow. This really means a lot to us, this day trip. To see the Golden Gate Bridge, we were here so many years ago, three decades plus. And the weather turned out to be okay today. That is a very nice view of the bridge. Presidio, California is right behind the start of the Golden Gate Bridge there. And we're going to be going up in there to get other vantage points of the Golden Gate Bridge and to check out the Presidio, see what they've done with it. It was an active U.S. Army installation the last time we were here. That's We just walked from that direction. This is pretty cool right here out on like a little finger of the fort that's closest to the interior of the bay. That bird does not seem to be bothered by me standing here. I'm not that far from him. But it is a gorgeous day at the top of Fort Point. Melody and I are going to go over to the Presidio San Francisco. There are several different overlooks of the bridge there. I think at least one of them is open, so we're going to be heading on over there, but that bridge is just gorgeous. three different stamps. The first is at Fort Point National Historic Site. The second is the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. And the third was down there by the Chocolate Factory. How you pronounce the name of that? Garadelli. Garadelli. Uh, San Francisco Maritime National Historical Park, the, where you get the stamp, is directly across the street from that chocolate factory. Hey, folks. I'm back at the RV. The U.S. Army did deactivate the Presidio of San Francisco. They turned it over to the National Park Service, and the National Park Service has leased significant portions of that former U.S. Army base to uh, private enterprise. 
and all the parking areas that we found in the Presidio San Francisco are now self-pay parking lots. Yeah, believe that in a U.S. national park. Um, so we passed on the Presidio San Francisco. Instead, we walked the promenade. Uh, it's a walking trail. It takes you from Fort Point down to Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39. And Melody and I have done a video, a separate video on Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39. That'll be our next video. Make sure you catch that. Uh, if you like these videos, like and subscribe. And I'll see you down the road.